The crisis at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant is entering its fourth month. The operator of the crippled plant is struggling to deal with radioactive water that's accumulating in reactor buildings. Water being injected to cool reactors is becoming highly radioactive and collecting in the basements of reactor buildings. In some facilities, contaminated water is just 20 centimeters below the top of the basement. On July 2nd, Tokyo Electric Power Company, or TEPCO, stopped using fresh water to cool the reactors and instead began running a circulatory cooling system. The system pumps out and decontaminates radioactive water before recycling it as a coolant. But the system has suffered a series of problems. On Sunday, it was suspended for 12 hours as radioactive water leaked from a decontamination device. Many of the glitches were caused by non-durable materials used in parts of the system. TEPCO is replacing some of the parts with more durable materials. The main challenge for the utility is to make the entire decontamination device sturdier for long-term use. Fukushima prefectural officials have started an inspection of a cattle farm in Minamisoma City near the troubled nuclear plant. Three to six times the government's limit for radioactive cesium was detected in cattle shipped from the farm. 1,530 to 3,200 becquerels of radioactive cesium per one kilogram was detected in 11 head of cattle carried to a meat processing firm in Tokyo. The officials visited the cattle farm on Sunday morning to make inquiries about feed and water given to the cattle. The inspection has found that the 11 cattle were kept inside a barn and since last fall they had been fed with straw that was stored indoors and mixed with feed from outside the prefecture. They were given water drawn from a well. No radioactive substances were detected on the skin of the cattle in pre-shipment screening. The prefecture will analyze water and feed samples at a laboratory to determine the source of the contamination. Japan's Prime Minister has announced it will take up to 20 years to clean up after the Fukushima nuclear disaster. It's the first time the government has attempted to indicate how long the operation may take. Emergency measures are already underway to shut down the reactors to prevent further leaks. The Fukushima plant was ruined when it was hit by an earthquake and tsunami in March. Thousands of people left the area around the facility over safety fears. Monday marks four months since the March 11th earthquake and tsunami hit northeastern Japan. Challenges remain as a large number of people are still living in evacuation centers and removal of debris is moving ahead slowly. More than 111,000 people are still living in shelters after losing their homes in the disaster or having fled the effects of the accident at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. About 37,000 units of temporary housing out of more than 50,000 units required have been completed, but some temporary homes built far from central areas are still vacant. People whose temporary units are far from their former homes or those living alone in temporary housing after losing family members are in need of assistance. Meanwhile, progress is slow in removing rubble, a critical part of the reconstruction process, especially in the three worst-hit prefectures in the Tohoku region. The Environment Ministry says Iwate Prefecture has moved 52 percent of the wreckage of buildings destroyed by the tsunami to temporary storage sites. Miyagi Prefecture has dealt with 30 percent of such debris, while Fukushima Prefecture lags behind with 27 percent. Another challenge is job creation, a key to rebuilding the livelihood of disaster survivors. In Iwate, Miyagi and Fukushima prefectures, more than 130,000 people are currently out of work. The number of job offers registered at employment placement centers in those hard-hit areas stands at about 75,000.